Oh, the boss quits. Couple questions for tonight's winter show. Uh, is Windows 11 now recommended? Again, I hate these ones, it depends, but here are the hard numbers. If you have a an 11900 or below, this is talking about an i9, so you have an i9 and there is a series number if you don't know what I'm talking about, Google it or ask your mom. Now your mom probably doesn't know either, but here it is, i9 11900 or below, you should have Windows 10. You need Windows 11 if you have anything greater than that. Why is that? It has to do with the way that the CPUs are doing their multi-threading and hitting their maximum outputs, you have to have Windows 11. Don't ask me why they did that, but starting in the 12 series, 12, 900 or above, actually not 900 there. I think the lowest one is a 12, 700, 12, 700 and above on the i9s, you will need Windows 11. That answers that question. Is Karen's time sync no longer recommended? I don't recommend you guys do any kind of time sync because you guys all mess it up. I wish I had never even mentioned Karen's time sync because you guys all flop them up anyway. And you're like, oh, I'm going to put it to, I'm going to have it reset every second and next thing you know your time clocks are all like messed up when ninja traders trying to fight your time clocks i'm trying to count how many trades have come through within x number of seconds and you guys got this stupid thing going over there auto syncing every half minute you're like oh no Vinny, i'm gonna sync in every half minute and i'm like you're, you're you're fucking it up okay pardon my french but you are really messing this up for yourselves and it's super frustrating when you guys keep putting this stuff on no no the answer is absolutely no stop putting on time sync software on your computer extreme tuning utility the XTU for Intel. Um, I have used it. I hate it. It doesn't do what you want it to do most of the time. It's very difficult to use. You'll probably hear that even from other YouTubers who are actually using it are like, dude, this thing can really you know mess things up for you. Be very careful when you start messing with the tuning utility in general. You're usually trying to overclock when you're doing this and you need to know specifically reasons why you are doing the overclocks and you eh, this is a very advanced level user type of stuff and you've got to be able to undo it. I will say this, if you're using the extreme tuning utility, I'm not supporting it and you'll need to do a lot of research and homework online to do it. And my biggest um, hint on it would be make sure that you know how to undo whatever you have done. So start with a plan of a backup, kind of like we do with our workspaces. I tell you, if you're going to save a workspace, save two of them. So you have a backup. Okay. So back up your configuration settings before you go so you can reverse them because no doubt you will the first few times, at least you are going to mess this up. So yeah, be very careful. And no, I do not recommend it. I just cannot emphasize how much I do not recommend doing it. Um, there are other ways to save I don't even say overclock, but enabling XMP and some of the other stuff I've told you guys about, you know, check a video online on a few of that of, of those things. Do I believe that you could overclock with our system? Yeah, because our system really doesn't overheat your system anyways. We, there's low risk to our load, because if you are familiar with overclocking, our load is not a multi-threaded, heavy utilization type of workload. So if you were to overclock, meaning individual CPU settings on the high side, that actually would benefit them because we're not going to necessarily usually overload them anyways, but you would have to be careful of the other things you're doing on your PC. If you were doing gaming and other stuff like that, that would use all of that, that all of a sudden those could put you in heat ranges that would cause your system to constantly blue screen, etc. So need to be careful at understand workloads and all the things that any overclocker will teach you about on YouTube. And no, we don't support it. Somebody said the other day, well, Vinny, you recommended and your recommendations for overclocking. No, I don't make any recommendations for overclocking. So uh, don't blame me if you're overclocking please press the like button share subscribe and comment below with your thoughts and what you'd learn watch this next video